Good day there, King's Kids. Arnie here from Arnie Shack. Uh, today we are going to be looking at friendship and the most important friendship of all, our friendship with Jesus. Our Bible story comes from John chapter 2. Uh, anyway, uh, let's get on with it. My name is Professor I. Arvides, and today I'm going to show you something amazing! My assistant Hans and I just love doing experiments. Today we are going to test the pH levels of some liquids to see if they are acid or alkaline. I have already started to set up for the experiment. I came in early and there's only a few things we need to do before we are ready to begin. Hans, are you ready to begin today's experiment? Very good! Now you will notice that I set up a food processor already. We will use that soon. There are also some cups of liquid on the bench. I have labeled them so we know what they are. There is a cup of water, a cup of lemonade, a cup of baking soda, which we have already dissolved into the water, a cup of salt that I have dissolved into the water, and a cup of vinegar. What I still need, Hans, is some red cabbage. Hans, what do you have there? I asked for some red cabbage, not red baggage. Yes, much better. I also need a strainer. Yes, that will work. Thank you, Hans. And a jug. Hans, what do you have there? I asked for a jug, not a plug. Yes, much better, thank you, Hans. Now, can you please get the food processor container, which you will notice already has some water in it, and fill it up with some leaves from the red cabbage. Yes, that's good, Hans. Now please use the food processor to mix up the cabbage.
Yes, that looks right, Hans. Now put the strainer on top of the jug and pour the cabbage mixture into it. It may take a little while to strain, so I will see you back here later. Hi there kids, it's Stephen here again and it's time for another story from the Bible. Mary, Jesus' mother, was happy. She was at the wedding of her friends. She was also pleased because Jesus and his disciples had been invited to the wedding as well. Back in Bible times, wedding celebrations went for a week. On the third day of this wedding feast, Mary noticed a servant looking very concerned and she discovered that they had run out of wine. This was not a good thing, because the wedding celebration still had many days to go. This would mean that the party would probably finish early. All the guests would leave, and disappointment and disgrace would be brought on the groom's family. Mary went to Jesus and told him that they had run out of wine. Jesus knew what this meant for the groom and his family. But he replied to Mary, his mother, Why are you involving me in this? My hour has not yet come. Mary knew her son, Jesus. She knew how much he cared for people. She knew that he would help. So she turned to the servants who stood nearby and told them to do whatever Jesus told them. Just nearby were six stone water jars. They were quite large, each holding around 100 litres. Jesus told the servants to fill the jars full to the brim with water. When they were full, Jesus told the servants to draw some water out of the jars and take it to the man in charge of the feast to try. When they drew out the water, it didn't look like water anymore. It didn't smell like water either. The man in charge of the feast didn't know about the feast running out of wine or the servants filling empty jars with water. He just knew when he tasted the wine, it was the best wine he had ever tried. He turned to the bridegroom and asked, Why have you saved the best wine to last? Everyone usually serves the best wine at the beginning of their feast. This was the first miracle that Jesus performed. He did it because he cared about the people around him. He cared about his friends and he wanted to help them. You too, King's Kids, can do what you can to show your care for your friends too. To help those who are in need, Jesus has set a great example for us all. Anyway, kids, take care and we'll see you all next time. Tonight's Bible verse comes from 1 Peter 4 verse 10. Each of you should use whatever gift you have received to serve others. My friends had just let me down, it made me feel bad What I needed was a friend to be there To never let me down and always care Jesus is always there for you Jesus, He always cares for you Jesus can live inside of you Jesus can always be your friend To be the one on who I can depend Now I have Jesus inside my heart He is my best friend and will never part Jesus is always there for me Jesus, He always cares for me Jesus, He lives inside of me Jesus, He always is my friend He's always there for me, Jesus. He always cares for me, Jesus. 
He lives inside of me, Jesus. He always is my friend. Hi everyone, my name is Nurse Betty. One of the things I love to do is to teach boys and girls how to stay healthy. Today, I'd like to talk with you about friendship. Friendship plays a significant role in supporting our overall health. There are some very good reasons why having healthy friendships are important. One, healthy friendships are good for your physical health. Having a close group of friends can decrease your risk of health problems like diabetes, heart attack and stroke. It also helps to prevent feelings of loneliness, high blood pressure and unhealthy weight. 2. Healthy friendships encourage healthy behaviours. Good friends should watch out for you and let you know if something you are doing is not good for you. Good friends can also help keep you motivated. Three. Healthy friendships give you emotional support. If you're going through a hard time, having a friend to talk to can help make the transition easier. 4. Healthy friendships help you build your confidence. Everyone has self-doubts and insecurities from time to time. Having friends who support you plays a big role in building your self-esteem and how much you love and appreciate yourself. Good friends will help you see just how amazing you are and how much you have to offer to others. 5. Healthy friendships help you beat stress. Everyone goes through stressful events. Having people you know you can count on helps you cope with these situations. 6. Healthy friendships push you to be your best. If you make friends with people who are a positive influence, generous with their time, help others and are ambitious, then you are more likely to develop those values too. Choosing the right friends is important. King's kids, remember that Jesus loves you. Take care of your body and take care of each other. Hi, Hi King's, King's kids. kids. My name is Miles. And my name is Reef. Today we're going to make tin can critters for your garden. The things you'll need are tin can, glue, pipe cleaners and marker, and some beads and scissors and some decorations. First choose your can, we painted ours. We're going to glue our eyes on. Now we're going to make some wings and antennas. You might even want some sticky tape. I'm going to put some antennas on mine. I'm going to put a moustache on my one. I think it needs a big smile. I'm quickly going to put some legs on. They look so friendly and welcoming. Yeah. Hey, Mile, we need to be friendly and welcoming to people too. Yes, Reef, and to talk to them and to listen to them. That way we can serve God. Let's stick these in the garden so we can remember to serve others by being their friends. Bye, King's Kids. Ah, uh, g'day there everyone, and welcome along to Balloon Kaboom. 
And again, I've got my friend here with me, Pastor Darren. G'day there, Pastor Darren. Hi, Arnie. Hi, boys and girls. So good to be back again. Well, I'm pleased to be back, Pastor Darren. I'm uh, looking forward to seeing uh, what you're going to make with the balloons today. Yes, well, today, Arnie, I have a purple balloon. Mm -hmm. I'm going to inflate it. Right. And see if you can guess what I'm making. I will. Yeah, we're going to guess, boys and girls. Going halfway up. Mm -hmm. Tie it off. Yeah, tie it off. I'm going to make a small bubble. Okay. And another small bubble. So, okay, so lots of small bubbles. That's a big clue, Arnie. Is it? Lots of small, uh, round, little berries. Oh, berries, do you say? Mm. Berries, little round berries. That's okay. a big clue. And more bubbles. Yep, lots of bubbles. Join it in. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to make some more. Okay, we could have a bubble bath. <laughs> yes, well, it would smell nice. Mm -hmm. And tie it off. Yep. And tie it in. Mm -hmm. There it is, it's a work in progress. And make more bubbles. That's right, three more little bubbles. One bubble, two bubbles, three bubbles more. Join them in. Mm -hmm. And more bubbles. Yep. Join them in. And more bubbles. Mm. Man, more and more and more. That's right. This is a yep. lovely, bubbly mm -hmm. bunch of berries. Ah. That's a big clue, I think, uh, our boys and girls. That's right, Arnie. Mm. Mm. Almost there. More bubbles. Yep. And join them in. Okay. And there we have a lovely, bubbly yep. bunch. It is a lovely, bubbly bunch. Mm. And join it in yep. onto... Okay, this green one you're going to put onto it as well. Yep. Onto the stem, onto the cane. Ah, the okay, it's a stem. Mm. And there it is. And it's finished? That's finished, Arnie. Mm. Uh, let me think. Uh, do you know what it is, boys and girls? I think it might be a bunch of blueberries. Well, yeah, it's not quite blue, it's more purple, but mm. you're close. It's a bunch of... Oh, I know. Ah, this looks really great. Can you guess, boys and girls? <laughs> really? Oh, you've got it, Arnie. Yeah. That's right. It's a bunch of grapes. Bunch of grapes, yep. Did you know, Arnie? Yep. The very first miracle that Jesus did involve grapes? Ah, oh, so it was a grape miracle. <laughs> well, yes. Yeah. His mother came to him mm -hmm. and asked Jesus to help and told the servants to help Jesus. Mm -hmm. And Jesus turned the water into wine. Wow, and I think that was because they had run out, Pastor Darren. That's right, they'd run out. So Jesus served his family and he served his friends and he served all the guests and his mum. Mm -hmm. by turning the water into wine for all the guests. Wow, that was awesome, wasn't it? Water into wine, that's, uh, that's a miracle. That's, that's an awesome miracle. Jesus came to serve, and his first miracle was a serving miracle. Yeah. So when I see grapes, you know what? What? It reminds me of what Jesus did at that first miracle, mm -hmm. and it reminds me to serve others just like Jesus served. I want to serve uh, Jesus as well, just like he did it uh, back then when uh, he turned the water to wine. We can be a miracle in people's lives mm -hmm. by helping them and serving them. Oh, fantastic. Let's do it, Pastor Darren. Would you like to take some grapes home, Arnie? Yeah, yeah, I'd love to. Uh, Doreen would love these grapes. Now, anyway, boys and girls, it's time to go now. So from balloon kaboom, uh, we'll catch you next time. See you, Pastor Darren. Bye, Arnie. Bye, boys and girls. Yeah, Doreen will think these are great. <laughs>
Can you see that, King's Kids? The water is blue! Let's try the lemonade, Hans! Oh, that has turned a pretty pink color! How about the baking soda cup? That's turned a bluish color! Okay, and now for the salt water! Will you look at that? It has turned purple! And now for the vinegar! Wow! It's turned red! Don't they all look spectacular? Red cabbage contains a water-soluble pigment called athenocyanin. It changes color when it's mixed with an acid or an alkaline. The pigment turns red in acidic environments with a pH less than 7, and the pigment turns bluish-green in alkaline environments with a pH greater than 7. So that must mean that the vinegar is very acidic because it turned red. The lemonade was acidic too, but not as much as the vinegar, which is why it turned pink. The other substances were more alkaline, so they turned blue and green colors. In our story today, Jesus' friend needed help at their wedding. Jesus had spent time with his friends, so he knew what they needed. He was able to serve them by turning water into wine. It was his first miracle. In our experiment today, we were able to find out how each of the different substances reacted to the red cabbage in the pH test. We can learn to be a good friend to those around us, like Jesus was to his friends, as we spend time with them and get to know them. So then we will know what the right reactions will be to help and serve our friends too. Anyway, thank you for helping me with my experiment today, Hans. And thanks for joining us, King's Kids. I will see you all next time. G'day, King's Kids. And g'day, Andy. It's really good to be back for another Discovery Bible. Oh, yeah, it sure is, Shane. And it's great to have Rosie here. Hi, Rosie. Hi, Shane. Hi, Andy. Hi, King's Kids. Yeah, good to have you here, Rosie. Um, but before we start, how about we uh, say prayer? Dear God, please guide us. Thank you. Hey, Andy, um, where's the text from today? Oh, well, Shane, today's passage is found in uh, 1 Peter 4, verse 10. Uh, Rosie, would you like to read first? Sure. God's gifts of grace come in many forms. Each of you has received a gift in order to serve others. You should use it faithfully. Oh, I think I might read mine next, if that's okay, Shane. Yeah, yeah, go for it. Each of you should use whatever gift you have received to serve others. Well, I'm going to read from my grandma's Bible now. The, the language is always a bit different in this one. As every man hath received the gift, even so minister the same to one another as God's stewards of manifold grace of God. Andy, so what does that mean? Well, it talks about serving others. And you know, I've been on a service trip called Stormco, and it stands for Service to Others Really Matters Company. And on that trip, we use our gifts and abilities to serve other people and meet them where they need us. Oh, OK. So, Rosie, what do you think you can do to serve others? I like to serve others by doing King's Kids so they learn about Jesus. Oh, I love it too. I love being a King's Kid and telling the world about Jesus. Uh, hey, Andy, it's time to go now. Uh, do you want to say a prayer? Yeah, I can do that, Shane. Dear God, Thank you for your word. Help us to follow you. Amen. 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 We'll see you later, King's Kids. See you, Rosie. Bye. See you, Andy. Here he goes. Postman <laughs> <laughs> oh. PJ reporting for duty. <laughs> Jesus, 
He wants to be your friend, Jesus. He wants to be your friend. Jesus loves you and he wants to be your friend. Take it away, girls! Jesus. He wants to be your friend. Go, girls! Jesus. He wants to be your friend. Jesus loves you. to be a friend. Yes, he does. He wants to be a friend. Jesus loves you and he wants to. You tell him, girls. Be a friend. Jesus wants to be a friend. He's your friend. Jesus wants to be a friend. Yeah. Jesus, he wants to be our friend. Uh, isn't that awesome news? Uh, that Jesus loves us and he wants to be our friend. Uh, in our story today, uh, Jesus performed his first miracle at a wedding. Uh, he was concerned for his friends uh, that their special wedding feast might be spoiled because they had run out of wine. Uh, so Jesus' first miracle uh, was to help his friends. Uh, you know, King's kids, uh, Jesus cares just as much for you as he did for his friends at that wedding. Uh, he wants to always be there for you and help you as well. And King's kids, uh, you too can show you care for your friends and help those who are in need. Uh, Jesus has set a great example for us all. Uh, anyway, King's kids, uh, it's time to go now. I will look forward to catching up with all of you again next time. Uh, so take care, stay safe, and God bless. He gives me peace that passeth all understanding, the joy that overflows. Isn't it just totally amazing, the love that my Father shows? I'm a king's kid, yes I'm a king's kid.